Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, I have real concerns about this. Um, my primary concern is that they think that we are effectively going to push um, folks that are living in their vehicles into commercial and industrial areas. And in my case, I represent um, some of these commercial industrial areas um, in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, most of this, uh, the industrial areas in the valley are concentrated in half of our districts. Uh, one of them is CD6 and of course CD7. And so my concern is that the communities of the Northeast San Fernando Valley are going to disproportionately be affected by this policy. And when we talk about all of us sharing the burden of how and how we deal with the homeless issue, it, I can't help but to feel like this is, there's an intent here, a discriminatory attempt to discriminate against the districts that, for, that historically have had to pay the price of environmental justice, of having to pay the price of some of the poor zoning decisions that the city has made over the years. And we've worked so hard, and Mr. Weezer know this, we worked on Clean Up Green Up to protect the communities that are in some of these industrial areas. And so now we're saying, we're finally saying to folks that live in these industrial areas, what we've been doing is wrong, we need to do more to protect you. But now we're actually going to now allow people to live in their cars in these sensitive areas around the city. And for, the, for half, of our, half of the people that represent the city of Los Angeles, half of your districts, I'm talking about Wilmington, I'm talking about Sun Valley and Pacoima, I'm talking about Boyle Heights. We have paid the price of poor land use decisions for people who live in these sensitive areas. And now we're saying it's okay to have people live in their vehicles in these very areas that we're trying to protect people from. So I think that's, um, you know, I, I don't know, I know that the intent of the committee wasn't to discriminate about, on, you know, particular districts, but it certainly feels that historically we're doing the same thing to these communities that have been overburdened over decades of poor planning decisions. And the majority of the industrial and commercial areas in the San Fernando Valley are concentrated in the Northeast Valley. And so this is not, this is not sharing the burden of having to solve this issue. And we keep talking about that every time we come up with a different strategy to solve this problem. This isn't going to be a problem in Bel Air. This isn't going to be a problem, you know, in other affluent areas in the, in the city. It's going to become a problem in the Northeast San Fernando Valley, particularly City 7 and City 6. I brought my father home from the hospital yesterday. He happens to live across the street from a, from a commercial and industrial zone. He came home to six to seven people living in their vehicles. I called Foothill. I'm glad you're here, Commander Chamberlain. What do I do in terms of the security issues around these areas and neighborhoods that when they call the police station, there isn't enough manpower to go make these neighborhoods you know, safe. What do we do in that instance? You don't have the manpower to not only respond to 911 calls, but have to go out there and provide security for some of these neighborhoods that live across the street from industrial areas. You just don't have the manpower. And so when we talk about finding solutions, members, you know, sometimes all you need to do is flip through, flip through these maps and find out which one, where in our city are these, are, do we have the over-concentration of industrial zones and commercial zones? Just flip through these maps and you will see that in the San Fernando Valley, it's my district and City 7 who doesn't have a representative right now. So I don't think that that's fair. I don't think that that's an approach that a lot of us can live with. And I am not going to be supporting this today. And I ask you to not support it and wait until we can come back um, and develop a safe parking um, program on public and private lots um, so that we can find real solutions and not objections. Thank you.